Hello, I'm Jim Ashwood from the Royal Veterinary College London. I'm funded by the Wellcome Trust, and this is a video abstract for a paper in the Journal of Experimental Biology. Now, it's been known for some time that the forces along uh, animal legs, as they're, they're moving quite fast, are way more vertical than they would be if they went through their hips and shoulders. So here we have a galloping horse, the measured forces are in blue, and the same vertical forces but projected through approximate hip and shoulder joints are in red. And you can see that the horizontal forces, and so horizontal work and power, would be much greater if the forces were in line with the leg. So it's obviously a good thing if you can support your body weight with vertical forces while your, your, your body does a, a, a horizontal velocity. That's a principle by which uh, wheels work, slides, uh, skating, uh, or all that sort of thing keep your, your weight force perpendicular to velocity, and so uh, no power is required. But the question then arises, how can mammals achieve this with, with uh, big hip torques happening, uh, while, while not requiring muscles to be uh, pulling uh, and working against each other? And this is where linkages come in. So the principle I, uh, I explore here is what would happen to a, a, a big muscle insertion site? Here I'm following the patella. I've also done it on, uh, on the forelimb, the, 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 the electronon. But, but, but follow the path of the, the patella as the foot does a perfectly horizontal line, or as the body does a perfectly horizontal path uh, over the foot. Then take a perpendicular to the, this, this path at a range uh, of places, and these are lines of action that could be uh, supported without changing length. And this idea of, 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 of passive weight support is supported by both anatomy. You can see the biceps femoris high, uh, highlighted on, uh, on the right here uh, in a dog. And it's supported by uh, measurements of, uh, of EMG. So uh, I, I'm making the cell that, that, that muscles and tendons have a role effectively as bicycle spokes. They act as tension struts. They automatically take turns in taking the load through just changes in geometry. They result in horizontal velocities while supporting uh, vertical body weight, uh, and they don't change length uh, under load. So they can be uh, largely passive, both in terms of the whole leg and in terms of the muscle. Now, do get in contact with me. I've got a range of uh, practicals, uh, classes here, um, ranging from key stage three to uh, uh, undergraduate uh, uh, anatomy. Uh, great fun. And I shall show you what sort of thing can be done. So here's a hind limb version. You can see the principles at play here. The biceps femoris is, is, is tense and under load in early stance as the leg gets shorter, but notice the leg's getting shorter without any part of it actually deflecting. And then the, the, the vastus takes the load, and then the rectus femoris takes the load, and the leg extends uh, further with a six bar linkage as the um, tensor fascia lata takes the load. And the muscles take their turn through simple geometry. Thank you very much.